Peace and great evening. My name is Araba Asum, most known as Yolanda Manning. This evening, I will share my experiences and current realities of being African, vegan, and in Memphis. However, before I do so, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and give thanks to the Most High, my spiritual guides and teachers, and the ancestors. To be African, vegan, and in Memphis means many things. But first and foremost, it means to make a daily sacrifice to intentionally taking your power back and to control, alt, and delete everything you thought you knew about food. <laughs> Soul food specifically. From granddaddy's hot water cornbread to mama's turnip greens with the fat back, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> It means to be knowledgeable and a student of, a, of the holistic healer, Dr. Sebi and to understand the truth of gene food consistency, alkalinity, and the healing powers of eating to live as a black American. It means to make connections between health, food, and illnesses. And although heart disease, cancer, and diabetes are the main cause of our loved ones transitioning, there's much hope of reversal and prevention with proper planning, adequate resources, and accountability through tribal efforts. It means to stay informed and reminded of the power of the land through sowing seeds, community gardening, shopping locally, and supporting local farmers. Shout out and much love to the Greenleaf Learning Farm as we continue to dig South Memphis. It means to reason often through intense conversations, which are coupled with eye rolls and sucked teeth, especially regarding unsolicited comments and explanation of one's protein intake. While in the same breath, it creates an opportunity for necessary dialogue through truth and transparency. Even young girl is like, you all don't get this, it's protein. <laughs> this is protein. <laughs> to be African, vegan, and in Memphis means productive procrastination while in graduate school. With freestyle dishes sprinkled with the black magic of the ancestors, and while many may assume that vegans eat grass and sip carrot juice all day, here's proof to be quite the contrary. To be African, vegan, and in Memphis means to stay ready so you don't have to get ready, which equates to packing a vegan snack or two in one's bag or back pocket, or simply savoring a self-food-rich meal before heading to a local event. Please feel free to virtually savor, share and savor my most popular creations to date. And yes, they're totally vegan. Enjoy. To be African, vegan, and in Memphis means to transition from the standard American diet. Sad, indeed. <laughs> Including pork, white flour, and sugar. And as a result, lose and maintain a 90-pound weight loss. And on top of that, it means to naturally heal a physical dis-ease through altering food addictions that the doctors insisted one would, <laughs> one would deal with for the rest of this lifetime, i.e. eczema and anxiety. It means to protect the culture through grassroots movements while finding one's sole purpose and passion areas through thought, creativity, and sharing with the focus on the youth and the Soulsville community. Woo! I've apparently got ahead of myself a little bit here. Okay, so yes, this is, okay. that was supposed to be the previous one. It means to be up for the cause, up for the cause by any greens necessary and to be the change and foundation for future generations to come, from Memphis to Egypt. To be African, vegan, and in Memphis means to be revolutionary in every sense of the word, and rightfully and unapologetically taking your power back from your plate to your people, and simply no longer accepting the status quo of becoming a slave to taste alone. Ashe. 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 Thank you.